Hello and welcome to Draw It and Know It. I'm cartoonist Dan Letha for Reasons for Hope. And today this is our art lesson edition and we are going to draw one of my favorite animals, the speedy cheetah. So let's get going. All right, today your tools are going to be a pencil to draw lighter sketch lines. And then we're going to ink over the top of that so you can have a marker. And then today we're also going to be coloring our cheetah yellow. All right, so those three things are important for you to have. Let's get drawing. All right, so today we are going to start drawing our sketch lines with our pencil. I'm going to use a blue line to indicate my pencil lines, my sketch lines. So we're going to start out with a line that's kind of the backbone of the cheetah. And then we're going to draw a circle or an oval for the head. Then we're going to draw another oval for kind of the shoulder area and maybe the rib cage. And then another oval for his back hips where his legs attach. So we're going to connect those two areas with the line. And so the, the side on the left is kind of thin and then it goes thicker on the right. Add a lump for the, the top of the shoulder. Now we're going to draw another circle for where the, the, the leg attaches to the shoulders. We're going to draw a line for the leg, the front leg, and then we're going to draw another line for the front leg too. And then we're going to draw where the paw is. Again, we're just sketching things out in general because we're going to ink over the top of this. All right, so the back leg goes right about here and it has a couple bends in it. The back legs of uh, cats and dogs and uh, other animals like that are kind of funny because they bend uh, different than humans do. but. All right, so here's the thickness of the back leg. We're going to draw the knee circles. And then we're going to, I think what we're going to do now is we're going to start uh, drawing some more details on the, on the head. Um, and so we've got the, uh, the muzzle, the front of the head, and uh, we're going to place the eyes and just, just a line because the, the cheetah has a bit of a squint. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to get our marker out and we're going to start inking over the top of our sketch lines. So we're kind of, we're going to follow a lot of the sketch lines, but we're going to add some detail too, of course, because um, I want our finished drawing to be a little more detailed than just the sketch lines. All right, so the eyes, draw kind of a thick line for the eye and then it, there's a stripe underneath the cheetah's eyes that they, I think they use for hunting and, and uh, seeing better. God has put that, that line there for them to do that. We'll draw a little line for the mouth. And then we're going to draw the ears in right back of the head right there. And uh, kind of follow what I did right there. And then we're going to draw the chest line. So that's pretty much what we drew, drew for the sketch line. And then for the front leg, we're going to draw the, the upper arm, as it were, the upper leg. Then we're going to connect that down to where the paw is. We're going to draw a couple little toes and then come back. So we've got the foot pad and the rest of the forearm. Finish the chest line and then the, the leg behind. And then you got the, uh, the paw. All right. And uh, then we're going to draw that kind of, there's a, like a furry hump on the, on the cheetah. And then finish the rump there. And now the, the belly line, we're going to make it kind of squiggly, in, indicate some fur a little bit because the, the cheetah has a bit of fur. And uh, finish the back legs there. And then the bend. And then the lower foot for the cheetah. And then we're going to finish that other back leg there. And then the foot. Bring it back. All right. Let's see what's left. Oh, yeah, we've got the tail. So we draw the tail out long. The cheetah's tail is a very, very important part of the, uh, of the drawing equipment that God has given the cheetah. All right, so now let's see what else do we have left here. Oh yeah, the cheetah has a lot of spots. So let's have some fun 
and draw in some spots. Now you might want to use a little thicker marker for the spots, make it go quicker, or you can draw them in with, uh, with your marker if it's a little thinner too. It might just take a little more time. But why does the cheetah have so many spots on it? You know, there's quite a few big cats that have spots and some have stripes. And um, the reason for this is that the cheetah is a hunter in this fallen world after the, the curse, after Adam and Eve sinned and brought death into this world. Animals have changed and so now lots of animals eat meat. And, um, and so to, to go hunting and to be a successful hunter, the cheetah has to hide. Now the cheetah is very, very fast, but can only keep up its speed for a short time. And so it needs to get as close as it can to the animal that it wants to, to hunt. And so to help it sneak up on the animal, God has given it some camouflage. And so in the grasses where it hunts, it can kind of sneak up and the spots help make it look more like its surroundings. And then the, the cheetah gets as close as it can and then it sprints out and gets the gazelle or whatever it's hunting. And so the, those dots are very, very important. Now we're going to put a shadow underneath the cheetah because it is flying. You know, the, the top speed of a cheetah can go up to about 75 miles an hour. Now this is very, very quick. It, it doesn't do this for a long time. It's a, it's a sprinter, but the cheetah is very, very fast. And, and so we're going to add some wiggle lines and now some speed lines because he's cooking. He's going super fast after whatever he is chasing, he or she's chasing. So those are the speed lines. And then after our speed lines, we're pretty much done with, um, with our, our, our ink lines now. The drawing is finished. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add a new feature to our, our drawing. And I'm going to start coloring. So get out your yellow markers and we're going to start coloring. Now you notice that the um, the cheetah has a small head. Again, God designed the cheetah that way so that um, if it had a big head then it would have a lot of wind to push with its head but the head is small and so it makes the cheetah a little more aerodynamic so it can go very very fast. And like I said it goes up to 75 miles an hour in short bursts and uh, this has nothing to do with the speed or anything, but the cheetah is one of the big cats that uh, it doesn't roar. It can't roar. It actually uh, purrs. And uh, the claws on the cheetah are also very interesting because like cats, a lot of cats can retract their claws and make them go back into the paws. The cheetahs can't. Their, their claws are fixed. And so that helps it run very, very fast with these special claws that don't go in, back into its uh, into its uh, paws and um, the uh, the cheetah is one of the smallest if not the smallest of the big cats and uh, sadly the cheetah is very very endangered so there's not very many left so we have to try our best to protect the cheetah uh, from dying off so how you doing on your coloring in here as we're filling in the last part of the yellow now the Bible talks about big cats. It doesn't talk about specifically cheetahs. It mentions leopards and lions and that sort of thing. But um, the Bible also mentions some very, very fast people. And um, so I might ask this question to you right now. Who is the fastest person in the Bible? Do you have an idea who the fastest person in the Bible might be? Well, we're gonna answer that question now that we've finished our cheetah. And he's really running fast and he's a nice yellow that God made him yellow. Well, let's think about fast people. Now we're, we have a fast cat here. The world's la fastest land animal is the cheetah. But who was the fastest person perhaps that ever lived on this earth? Well, there's a person named Asahel. And you can find him in the Old Testament in 2 Samuel 2. It says, now Asahel was as swift of foot as a wild gazelle. So this guy was really, really fast and he was known for running really, really fast. But as well known as this guy was for running really fast, he probably wasn't the fastest guy. Who was the fastest guy? Now this might shock you. It's someone that you know of. You know this name. 
His name was Elijah. You think, Elijah? How can Elijah be the fastest person? Well, if you look in 1 Kings 18, it talks about a situation where um, Ahab uh, was on his chariot. and He's got his, his mighty horses. And it says, Ahab rode, rode and went to Jezreel. Okay, so Jezreel, in, in the contest, uh, context of this, this account, was, as best we know, 17 to 30 miles away. So Ahab takes off and he goes with his chariots and his horses and he's going as fast as he can to Jezreel. But then the next verse, it says, And the hand of the Lord was on Elijah and he gathered up his garment and he ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. 17 to 30 miles. And he beat these fast horses pulling this chariot. So the land speed human record, I think, goes to Elijah because he was supercharged by the Lord. The Lord gave him that ability for that time to go really, really fast. So God allowed Elijah to run really fast. God made the cheetah to run really, really fast. So the next time you see the cheetah, think of the capabilities that God built into this very, very special cat and glorify God and praise God for what he does. Well, I hope you had fun drawing the cheetah today, and thanks for